Hey folks, Dr. Bo here again. Now, back in the day I used to live in Canada where it was freezing cold and one of the things we had to do is start our cars up and let them warm up before we start driving on the road. Now, your body is no different and one of the things you should be doing on a daily basis is movement in the morning as you're getting your day started. What we're gonna go over here is what we call cars, controlled articular rotations, which is just a fancy name for doing circles with your body, okay? But what this can help out with is increase overall blood flow in your body. You can get synovial fluid through your joints and decrease the likelihood of arthritis occurring. And also you can just feel a whole lot looser and, 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 and energetic throughout the day, okay? So follow this routine along. I'm gonna go very slow and you're gonna be doing it slowly as well. The slower you do it, the better. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through the series. And if you go through any ranges of motions that create pains and aches for you, try to avoid that particular range and just ease off of it. The very first one we're gonna start off with is our neck. You're gonna tuck your chin down as far as you can. You're gonna feel a stretch right here, and you're gonna start rotating your neck nice and slow over to one side, and then all the way back, and to the other side, and then back down. You want to do this nice and slow and we want to do a minimum of two rotations going each way. Up next what we're going to do is take our, our right hand, you're going to squeeze your fist on the opposite side, sorry, and what we're going to do is have the thumb facing forward and you're going to start lifting this arm up as high up as you can while keeping your core tight, feet push into the ground and you're going to lift up as high as you can, you're going to lift up high, 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 high and you're going to hit a roadblock where you can't go any further. That's the point where we're gonna turn our palm out and continue reaching back as far as we can. You're gonna to continue to circle this way nice and slow until we reach the midpoint, which is gonna be right here. Your thumb should be pointing back. After that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start bringing that thumb back. And once again, you're gonna hit a roadblock where you can't go any further. From there, we wanna start turning our arm out and we're gonna continue circling all the way throughout. Perfect. Now you wanna go a little bit slower than that, up next, what we're going to do is continue work on the shoulder, and in particular, we're going to work on our scapular motion. A couple different ways you can do this one. My particular favorite is to have that hand on the side. We're squeezing this other fist. What we're going to do with this right shoulder, we're going to lift it up as high as we can, bring it back as far as we can, bring it down as far as we can, and then forward, up, back, down, forward, up again and back to neutral. And you can repeat that motion going the other way as well. Now just from doing that, my shoulder already feels pretty loose. What we're gonna work on now is gonna be the elbow and then the wrist. With the elbows, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your palms up. We're gonna lift up as high as that we can, turn it down, bring it down as far as we can, bring the palms up again. And you're gonna do that in the reverse motion as well, where you start down, bring it up as high as you can, turn it out as far as you can, back down. From there, you're gonna feel your elbows loosen up. Up next, we're gonna go into our wrists. This is particularly important if you have a desk job where you're doing a lot of typing. Palms are gonna be up. You're gonna bring the wrists down as far as you can. Bring them out, up, in, out. And you're gonna continue that motion. Now keep in mind, the slower that you go, the better it's gonna be for your overall mobility and bringing that synovial fluid to decrease the likelihood of arthritis, okay? Up next, we're gonna work on is our thoracic spine. I'm gonna give myself a big hug here. I'm gonna tuck my chin, I'm gonna round down, and from there, I'm gonna go to the side, go back to the other side, and then once again, crunch in, go to the side, all the way out, and back in here. I'm gonna repeat that motion again, and once again, my mobility isn't the greatest, so you may find yourself getting a whole lot more range of motion than I do, okay? Up next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get down onto the floor, and we're gonna continue working on our thoracic mobility. Now, this is something that you may already know if you're doing yoga, it's, it's gonna be called the cat-cow, but what we're gonna focus on is trying to move each segment individually, and we're gonna do this nice and slow. Once again, I'm not very good at this, I'm just working on it just like you guys are, okay? What we're gonna do is get into this quadruped position, and we're gonna start off by dropping L5 down as low as we can, L4, L3, L2, L1, and work into the thoracic spine. And we're gonna drop each segment slowly, and then we're gonna reach our head and neck up. At this point, we take a big deep breath in. And from here, we start off with our cervical spine, working into the thoracic and then the lumbar spine, and just bringing it up as high as we can. 
focusing on going nice and slow, one segment at a time. When I bring it into this position here, I am breathing out as much as I can, and then I repeat the process again, dropping it down low, and then working our way up. And I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit, but I want you guys to do this as slow as possible, okay? Up next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into our hips. With the hip, what we're gonna do is shoot the one leg up as high as you can, then we're gonna lift the leg out to the side, bring it as far to your tricep as you can, and complete one full circle. So up, out, pretend like there's a fire hydrant right there and you're going over it and bring it back in. Once again, the slower you do it, the better. And you're gonna repeat that motion going the other way. This time we bring the knee up, bring it out as far as we can, and that's where I feel my tightness kicking in. And then we internally rotate this way, bring it out, and then back in here again. And then last but not least, what we're gonna finish up with is gonna be our knee and then our ankle. Now, for the knee, what you're gonna do, if I'm working on my left knee, you're gonna take your right arm, run it through, left arm goes over, and you're gonna lock in the knee, okay? What you're gonna do from here is start off with your foot rotated out, you're gonna lift it up as high as you can, rotate it out the other way, and then bring it down as far as you can. Once it's here, rotate the knee, not the ankle out again. We wanna move our tibia and our fibula here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up again, as high as we can, rotate the other way, bring it back down, okay? And that's what you wanna do going both ways with the knee, especially if you've got uh, knee pain, this will help out tremendously. Last but not least will be the ankle. The exact same concept, we're gonna go ahead and rotate out, bring the ankle down as far as we can, and then complete that around the world motion, and I'll do it a little bit quicker here, but essentially you're gonna go up, down, and then just take that around. Do this on a daily basis, it'll just take you 10 minutes, and I promise if you start doing this on a daily basis, your body's gonna feel a whole lot looser, you'll have more energy, and also you can prevent injuries from occurring as well. Thank you.